Welcome back to wagertalk.com. It's Video Best Bets Part 1. We've got Brian and Ralph's Video Best Bets, so let's get right into it. We're going to start with Brian, and you've got a best bet on uh, Saturday. You're taking a look at the Rutgers game here. Big number, buddy. I am, and we've been doing very well with these underdogs. And uh, last week, Cleveland Browns um, should have won straight up if we had a <laughs> kicker. Missed three field goals, I believe. But another one of these videos that we've been winning, and, and Ralph's had their terrific play on Buffalo, um, straight up winner over over uh, Army. Nobody else was on that. He was one of the few on that. Hey, but, don't forget about my great win on yeah, Arizona yeah, State. Yeah, you know, that, was, that was in the back for a good old two seconds. But my question is, I don't know if we should count his last week because after talking about it, give us a great information for five minutes. He never made it official. <laughs> oh, oh, my man's making it two weeks in a row. He's 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 putting a little a little, <laughs> little dig, dig in that little uh, dig. a little inside joke. Um, well, let's make it official with yours this week. Who are you? Lo you're looking at Rutgers you plus know, the points and why? They they say your trend <laughs> is your friend, and I agree with that when it comes to coaching, because you have coaches that are very good in certain situations. Urban Meyer, with extra time to prepare, he's golden. I always say. You don't want to go against Urban Meyer when he has time to prepare. Ohio State's off of a bye. I'm going, against, <laughs> I'm going against Urban Meyer. The reason being, if you go back and look, the last two years, Ohio State has crushed Rutgers. Mm -hmm. I think Rush, Rutgers is an improved team. The line to me is anywhere from four to seven points too high based on anybody's power ratings. But look who's playing next week, Indiana. Now, before you say, oh, it's Indiana, Take a look at what Ohio State has done against Indiana the last two years. They've really struggled. Uh, they didn't even come close to covering the spread. And if you go back to last year's game, they were losing that game. This was a team that was coming in expecting to run, run the table. And they really struggled against Indiana. Would not surprise me with that extra week. They weren't preparing for Rutgers, who they played very well against. They are preparing for Indiana half of that time. Would not surprise me at all. So in that case, I'm going to let that trend go by and I'm going to go against it and take Rutgers plus the 38 and a half points. Well, the way you've been crushing these uh, big dogs, I can't, I can't argue with you. So uh, we got to respect it, and we're going to head over to Ralph. What are you? You, you know, a, a quick mention on Brian's best bet. Of course, Urban Meyer is not going to embarrass his DC from last year, Chris Ash. I mean, you have a you have a, a coach that he brought up. He got a head coaching job. We know how he respects Tom Herman in Houston. Urban Meyer is a prideful person who wants his coaching tree to look good. Chris Ash was also the main recruiter, so he interviewed all of these young kids, knows that personnel very well. I know that was part of your play. I just want the fans to know that, that it's a big, it's a big thought when you have a big favorite, if he's going to blow someone out or not, is when you're looking across that field and you're going to shake Chris Ash's hand at the end of the game, you're going to look him in the eyes and say, good game, coach. There you go. Good. And this is the why we got this guy here to have well, this little little it, tidbits. It didn't work impact. last week with Kent State plus the 44 against Alabama. Yeah, but that's, that was, that's Saban. Who, that but was, they were laying <laughs> 42 and a half. Well, I know. <laughs> but, but the point was uh, that he didn't run it up because in the second half they only scored him seven to nothing. Right. This Kent was so far behind in the first half they, they couldn't help it. I think Nick Saban would run it up on his mother. I don't. I, I don't. <laughs> but again, he was an alma mater. It wasn't one of his coaches. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go to your best bet. You're looking at a game that uh, not the opponent that you're going against. I'm not happy with. You know what? Uh, NC there State are three North teams Florida. in the ACC undefeated. This is an exciting conference. Clemson, okay. Louisville, and Wake Forest. Yeah. There's only 15 teams, four and zero in the FBS. There's 128 teams in the FBS. 15 teams are four and zero. Wake Forest is one of them. And now I'm going to jump in and play against them. First time they've been 4-0 since 2006. They now have bowl expectations. They were only a 3-9 team each of the last two years. They've already surpassed those wins. Two more wins, they're going to a bowl. This team is fat and happy. The problem is this. They were at Indiana last week. They won that game by seven. They allowed 611 yards and they were plus five turnovers in that game. The most misleading game of the year so far to date. Okay, now you're traveling for the second straight week. You're traveling for the, the third time in four weeks. You're playing a coach, Dave Dorn of NC State, who's four and one ATS off a of bye. And as I said, Wake Forest had five interceptions last week. Oh yeah, the quarterback for NC State, Ryan Finley, 
is one of only two quarterbacks to not throw a pick this year, and he's leading the country in pass percentage at 76%. NC State is a solid home favorite. They're averaging 498 yards per game. They are outgaining their foes by 119 yards. Wake Forest, by the way, 0-4, they're getting outgained by 139 yards per game. We have a great dynamic of a 4-0 team where this line should be closer to 17 to 20 points, but it's only 11 and a half because of an undefeated team facing a 2-1 and NC State team. Right, and you think a little bit of this is all the, you know, we've been busting his, uh, you know, his stones the last couple of weeks, and he's getting back at me to, to talk about this game in Wake Forest, how misleading last week's game was. Well, being the, that was the only game I lost in college football last week was I, I, Indiana. I, I, under, I understand his, <laughs> his thoughts on the Wake Forest, but I don't know if I believe in the NC State part. And, and but while we're on it, you were talking about busting balls. I <laughs> had to wear my hat today. I had a bad hair day, and I, I know you two guys know that very well. Uh, on that note, <laughs> you've got Brian's best bet on Rutgers plus 38 and a half, and you've got Ralph with NC State minus 11. Guys, do you guys got anything big going this week uh, you want to talk about? You know, I don't. I'm pretty particular with the big plays. Um, I had a poor week this past week. It's a rare first losing week here, the first three weeks in wager talk. But it's a game where there's a solid card. Nothing worthy of one of those top plays, but again, a very, very deep, uh, deep card. It may be the most plays I've had since being on Wager Talk, but no top play. I would highly recommend then jumping on your weekend all access and you'll get all of those plays. Brian, you looking at something? Uh, of course, I'm looking at the Mac, my Mac game of the week. Covers by 23, 24, 44. Last week we had the Mac game of the month, covers by 10 and a half. You want Only to get ten and a half? Ten and a half. I, oh. well, they, I thought they were going to win straight up. I had Miami against Cincinnati. But they probably should have won straight up. But what are you going to do? You, you, you can't Slacker. win by 20 points against a spread every game. And they pay the same. They pay the, the same, same, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I've got another one of those, and I can't believe this team is favored. So All right, nice well, check it out. You can check out Brian's Mac Game of the Week or get it as part of that weekend all-access. Save 10 bucks. Use coupon code TOUCHDOWN. In the number 10, that's the word touchdown spelled out in the number 10. Save $10 on any package this weekend at Wager Talk. We'll be back with more at wagertalk.com.